today we've been lucky enough to get our hands on a 2020 Hyundai Venue Ultimate version. It's gonna be great. front now as you can see this is the ultimate model which means that you do get the black and chrome grill on the lower models you just get a blacked out grill with the lower models as well you get the normal halogen lights when you get up to the ultimate version you start getting the led daytimes the led normal lights high beam and low beam with the corner assist and then you also have the LED tail lights. With this new venue, the light fixture is also like the newer versions of the Hyundai Palisade. You have the sleek top part on the light, which is gonna be your turn signal, and then you have the daytime and your normal headlight on the bottom part here, which is very nice, very well set up. It's a very sleek look to this small SUV. With the lower models and all the models, it does come with a 1.6 four-cylinder non-turbo engine, and it does kick out 121 horsepower. Now, with the higher models, you are getting the snow mode, which is gonna let you have more power to the inside of the wheels, which helps the assisting in the snow. With all the models, it's front-wheel drive. It's a pretty standardized setup for a small sized SUV. When we come to the wheels here, some models, they're gonna come with a 15 steel, they also have a 15 alloy, and then they have the 17 inch alloy, which comes on usually the higher models. Now you can get those rims on the lower models. Obviously you just have to pay a little bit extra, but either way, it's a cool, nice style and a nice look. Standardized size is gonna be a 205-55 R17. As we come to the back here, it's pretty small size for the trunk. Now when you get to the lights, it's got your light fixture with the Spec D set up here. Now, the light fixture, I don't know, and you can comment, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it kind of has the Renegade, the Jeep Renegade setup. It kind of looks like it. Now, when you get to the body and the overall look, I find it also looks like a Kia Soul. Now, like I said, in the comments, tell me if I'm wrong, and if you agree, like the video. So with this trunk, it's pretty decent size space. You're not gonna be fitting much in here, but for the size of the vehicle it is, it's pretty great. Now it does come with this top little visor here so you can have everything covered. If you don't want people seeing what you have in your trunk, this is actually mainly what it's for. And then you can also put light things on top of here if you can't fit anything on the bottom. From the last video in the Sonata, it's not gonna be like the Sonata key because the Sonata has newer technology that won't be seen on on this vehicle but it's a very stylish black key with the nice symbol at the back and like every key it has the little switch where you can pull the key out so you got your standard heated seats and you got your standard heated steering wheel now this is going to come in the higher models heated seats are always going to come in the lower model as well now you do have your drive modes which it does show up on the little cluster on the dash now it does have a normal mode a sport mode and a snow mode and what the snow mode does is it like I said outside is it lets uh, more power to the inside of the wheels which helps assist through winter driving so it's snow your sport and then your normal mode so it's pretty standardized setup on the cluster here and then as you get to your steering wheel you've got the nice modes for your assist the phone and then all the on board computer stuff which is going to be your fuel mileage and all that stuff which is displayed up here these models do have blind spot detection as the lane keep assist as your active lane keep assist it also has the lane departure warning all the standardized setup that you get in all the ultimate models that you have seen on the palisade and the sonata very well set up the leather on the steering wheel is very nice now these do come in the ultimate model it comes with a denim seat instead of the napa leather that you're getting in all the other models they switch it up to denim which is a very nice feel a very different feel from the leather now it does come with a two-tone gray color with the little white outlining stitch and it's very beautiful 
I did already mention, just to recap, it does have 121 horsepower with 113 pounds of torque, and the curb weight is 2,200 pounds. Now that's a decent size and a decent weight for your small SUV. This vehicle does come with a CVT, as you can see here, and then with the base model, it does come with a six-speed manual, which is a nice little change up for a small size SUV like this, because you don't see a lot of say Kia Souls or Hyundai venues like this shape and size having a manual transmission. It does have a six inch touch screen, which is a nice little change up to everything, but it still has your CarPlay in here with the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. And then as you pan down, a nice little change up to the air conditioning setup. Now, the little middle gauge here is just a display. It does not turn, it is not a touch. It is just the display only for the controls on either side. So this is the 2020 Hyundai Venue launch test without launch control. Put in drive, turn on traction and stability. And to do that, you have to hold the traction. And we are in sport mode, yes safety both of the girls it's all about the safety remember always wear your seat belts it's a good thing too here we go now for the 1.6 like i said 121 horsepower it's got the decent pickup for the size it is but we're not in a lamborghini so <laughs> But handles nice, feels nice, brakes nice. So when we launched it, you can really feel that CVT because for a while it just stayed at one, one, one part of the RPM. I want to say around four, four, four and a half, and it stayed there until we got to about just about 60 kilometers. And then as soon as we got to 60, it started to rise in the RPM, and then it eventually started continuing through its process. Now, drive-wise. It's got good reaction to the steering and it doesn't sway too much. Very smooth ride. And now because this is a brand new vehicle, the brakes are brand new, very touchy, but they don't have a very loud sound like I find some brakes and some vehicles do have. This is a very minimal sounding car. Now you do get a little bit of the engine sound, which is okay, but it's not overpowering. It's not bad. So the bumping, the shocks, those are they're they're nice. They're they're not too tight, they're not too soft, so you're not bouncing around everywhere. But you're you're definitely you still feel some of the big ones. Yeah, the big potholes, but those little minimal bumps you barely feel. Got a heated steering wheel, oh my gosh. Now it's only got the one setting for the heat, but my gosh, it really does get hot. Now for the seats, you have three settings as you're hot, middle as hot now it's got a really nice pickup I won't lie like I barely touched the gas there and it, it really started going which is what I like in a car a quick response to the gas is always a really nice car to drive because in my opinion safety wise I want to say that's what you want uh, you want quick responses, which is also why I like driving a manual vehicle. Now, like I said, this does come in a six-speed manual. Now, to back that up is in a manual car is you have more control over the RPM, which means it's a lot safer. Uh, well, I wouldn't say safer, but you have a lot quicker reaction time compared to, say, automatic cars where you gun it. And it takes that two little seconds just to one to two little seconds to get you going compared to manual where you're flooring it in the gear you're already in high RP. But for this vehicle and a six speed manual, I would love to get my hands on it, see how that feels, how the transmission feels through the gears. Maybe we'll come back and get our hands on one and do a little segment on a venue just for the six speed. But all in all, this is an amazing car to drive. I love it. Brennan, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming through. How was it? Oh, it was amazing. It drives nice. It's a very good vehicle for, I want to say, the younger generation oh. that are looking to get into something small for a cheaper price. Appreciate it. So, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. And we'll be back at Mississauga Hyundai next time. Hey.